Hi, this is Trey from SoFly. Today I'm going to show you how to use WP All Export along with Zapier to automatically send yourself an email every time a certain export runs on your website. The example I'm going to use today is users. We're going to export users and we're going to add filtering options to only grab the users who have registered in the past seven days. So we're going to do register date equal to or greater than seven days ago. Add rule. And that's going to bring it down to one user. Okay, continue to step two. Okay, I'm going to leave the basic information here, but you can add as much as you want. So we're going to continue to step three. And on this step, we're going to set the friendly name of the export, which is important because this is a name we're going to use in Zapier to make sure it only runs when this export runs. So users export. I'm going to run it. Okay, now we're going to go to Zap here. And we're going to make a new Zap. Search for WP All Export. There it is. Okay. Then we need to connect our account, which is our website. We're going to need the website URL, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Okay, and then we need your API key you can find on the settings page of WP All Export at the bottom. Grab that. All right, continue. Testing and okay, that worked. Save and continue. We just created an export, so we're good here. You have to make sure that you have at least one recent export that's been created. Fetch and continue. Okay, continue. Now we're going to add a filter to make sure this only runs when users export runs, which is the friendly name we chose when we set up the export. So export name exactly matches users export. Continue. Okay, now we're going to choose an action app. We're going to pick Gmail and we're going to choose to send email. I've already added my account, but it's real easy. You just hit connect a new account and then give it access to your Gmail and you're good to go. Okay, two, I'm gonna send this to myself. And then for the subject, we're gonna put new users in past seven days. And then we're gonna click this over here so we can add records exported and see how many new users we've gotten in the past seven days. In the body, we're going to put the same thing. We're also going to add the URL to the data file. So if you wanted to just open it from your email, you could instead of having to log into your website. So export file URL. Continue. All right. Skip tests. Continue. Name your zap. Just put users export and turn it on. Okay. Now we're going to go back here and we're going to go ahead and uh, import some new users. I've already set that up, so we'll go to manage imports. And this is going to import 10 new users. So our export should now bring out 11 users. So we're going to go back and run that. Export, confirm run, 11 users exported. Now we should have an email telling us that. And there you go, new users in the past seven days, 11. Click there, there's the link to your data file. And there you go, and looks good, okay. Next out. Now, if we go back to manage exports, you'll see the cron scheduling link over here. On this page, we have information on how to set up cron jobs. A cron job is something that you would set up to run as often as you'd like, and it'll trigger your export to run automatically. So for this example, we would want to make a cron job that runs one time per week, and that would trigger our export, which would then trigger our zap, and we'd get an email automatically each week letting us know how many new users had registered in the past seven days. I think that covers everything. So that's how you'd use WP All Export along with Zapier 
to send yourself an email each time a certain export runs. Thanks for watching.